Lisa and welcome to Mayo Ben Teens Party Time Take One. Thank you, Clarence. Who's Clarence, Lisa? You Clarence. better explain. Clarence is the little, he's, he's like the clapper loader. On he's the clapperboard man that moment. comes on with his little clapperboard on. Mayo Ben Teens Party Time. Because that's how mm. Clarence says it. It is. So what is Michael Benteen's potty time? It is. You seem to spend quite a bit of well, not quite a bit of money, but you've got. You've got four series worth. You've got of it. four series, four series worth. Four series worth. There we go. So Network had a sale, didn't they? They did. They. It was Thames's. 60th birthday? Something like that. In the week. Yeah. And so Network... 50th, I think. Was it 50th? Not sure. Yes, 50th. 50th. Because that would right. be 1960. Oh, yeah, yeah, because it, it would have been... Yes. Uh, uh, 80... No, not 80 before <laughs> that. Yeah. It was, anyway, it was Thames's birthday. Yes. Earlier in the week. Happy birthday, Thames. Happy birthday, Thames, even though you don't really exist anymore. Um, Here it is now, Thames Television. Right. So <laughs> they discounted everything by half yes. that was made by Thames, oh, which meant that you know lots of things like who, you could get who done it really cheaply. Yeah. And, um, we've already got that. We've already got that. So we got all of the Michael Benteens. Mm -hmm. We got the Quatermass conclu not well, Quatermass um, conclusion. Not Quatermass conclusion. Well, Quatermass yeah. conclusion. It, it doesn't well, well, it's just say called that. Quatermass, it's just called Quatermass actually. Quatermass. Yeah. Man about the house. Yeah. And and six days of justice. Okay. Which right. was quite enough for the postman. But how yeah. much did you spend for the complete Michael Benteen potty Michael time? Benteen's there about ten, wasn't it? Came to ten pounds and four pence for the entire yes. load I think of it. Season four was less than two pounds. Wow. Yeah. Um, I sort of remember it. Mm. I sort of remember some of the later stuff, and you mm -hmm. say you do too, do you? Yes, I think I might have seen a repeat in All the eighties. Right. I'm guessing it was pos probably repeated in the eighties. Okay. But it's, it's this one particularly. It's series four. Yes. Yeah. With the professor and, yeah. Well, but we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk about it in, in order. Mm -hmm. So um, I blogged about the Father Christmas episode yesterday and that's yeah. the first one that I showed you. Mm -hmm. So what did you make of that? I thought it was rather sweet. Yeah. Yeah, because it's, you can really tell, I think he probably really engaged with children yeah. very well, Michael Bernstein, because yeah. he talked to them on the same on the right level, the and he wasn't patronising. No, that, that's the thing, that there is a danger of, you, you do this sort of puppet stuff to kids, and, and yes, you can, you can end up, end up being very patronising. Mm. And I would say that they do include a couple of episodes of The Bumblies on mm. there, which is these 1950s series with yeah. puppets. Mm -hmm. And he's playing a sort of professor character in that. Mm -hmm. And you can really tell the difference between sort of 1950s shows and mm. 1970s shows. Because in the 1950s show, it is very much talking down to the kids, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Whereas by now, he's, he's assuming that you've got some intelligence. Yeah. And he's yeah. coming across as himself mm -hmm. rather than playing some sort A of character. put on, yes. eccentric, wacky mm -hmm. sort of character. Mm -hmm. you know. But yeah, the, the, the Father Christmas one is, is fairly sort of minimalist, I guess. Mm -hmm. you've, you've got a few. Because the potties are sort of, mm. they're, they're operated, they're puppets that are operated from sort of below. Yeah, they're they? rod puppets. And, yeah. and they're sort of, well, they're, they're in two sizes because mm. there's a big one and then there's and a little one, one which is about yeah. half the size. Mm. Um, as I said, I started to worry about the sort of evolutionary biology of them. Are they two separate subspecies or not? Possibly, yeah. I, I yeah. don't really know, like big, mm. big potties and little potties. But um, Michael Benteen sort of, the idea is it's meant to be sort of semi-educational, isn't mm. it? Because it's showing you things from history. Yeah. The Father Christmas one is something of an exception because mm -hmm. it was shown on, um, what was it, Christmas Eve 1973. Mm. Um, so I would have been just five mm -hmm. then, and I really don't know whether I saw it or not. Mm. But I love the idea it says about... It explains why there are multiple Father Christmases. Yeah. You see them in stores and things like that, and they're mm -hmm. all genuine. Yeah. But if you happen to see your parents putting the pe presents out at night, if you mm -hmm. woke up, yeah, um, then they're like 
they've been deputised by the official Father yes, Christmases to, to do it for him, which means that they're special. Yes. So I, I like I like that. Yeah. That I like the way he explains all that, and he, he covers all of the things so that children will be reassured. Yeah. But he, I mean, Benteen, yeah, he sort of comes up from um, sort of the goon show in his early mm-hmm. days, but he he wasn't in the goon show that long, no. really. Yeah. Um, and I think there was a bit of a falling out, really, yes. about why he mm. sort of went away from it. I know I was reading a bit on the Wikipedia page, which obviously you should take with a pinch of salt because mm. anybody can change it. But it says that when he, he went away and when he came back, they were still using his image and he had to argue with the BBC to get him to take... No, take they'd removed him. Oh, they'd removed his image? Yeah, and oh, right, he, wanted to, he wanted to be reinstated. Oh, right, okay. It's as though he'd been airbrushed ah, right. from history or something mm-hmm. like that. So, yeah, there was possibly a bit of behind-the-scenes sort of tension i really don't but know because I mean, you've got Sellers and stuff you've got yes. um andy seacombe's book and yes. growing up with the goons yeah and there is some stuff about mm-hmm. sort of when he left there mm. but yeah in, in the sort of 50s he's got this really mad mad scientist yeah. hair, Brilliant isn't he? hair yeah Brilliant. whereas now by the 70s he's much more calm he's got his sort mm. of is it an raf jacket i think it's or an something? raf jacket yeah. I, you can't really see the badge mm. but he was in well he was sort of in the raf yeah because of something that happened. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. But I know he went, he was out in Belgium and, and places like that because he went to um, a lot of the concentration camps. Oh, right, I think yeah. that left a yeah. mark on him that, you know, he couldn't believe humans could be so foul to each other. Because, so. yeah, you, you're saying about the RAF and wasn't he, he was, he was supposedly inoculated against typhoid. Yeah. And apparently they put the wrong bottle in the sort of, thing and they ended up injecting him with pure typhoid rather than mm-hmm. the, the the diluted version that you'd use for an inoculation mm-hmm. and he ended up in a coma for mm-hmm. like weeks and it damaged his, his eyes his yeah. eyesight and stuff Which so he, he couldn't be a pilot yeah. yeah um but yeah he's got a sort of real interest in science and also mm-hmm. the paranormal as yes. well which is very strange to get that it's like mm-hmm. a you know it's the opposite side, I suppose. Because he does a couple of episodes of The Sky at Night with mm. Patrick Moore talking about UFOs and sort of mm-hmm. weird weird things like that. Mm. Um, and, yeah, I, I like the thing that he's he's interested in science, mm. but he's also got a mad, imag- a, a mad imagination as mm-hmm. well, and I think that's a very good combination yeah. for anybody that's doing mm. creative stuff, mm-hmm. especially in this sort of history, sort of teaching vein. Yes. I think that's quite good. Yeah. So what else did we see? We saw um, King Arthur. King Arthur, didn't yeah. We? yeah. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's quite strange, isn't yes. it? Because <laughs> you've got <laughs> Merlin. And yes. He, and the whole point about the potties is that mm. um, Benteen does all the voices, yes. doesn't he? So Merlin's yeah. got this sort of cod Welsh, Welsh accent. Which I, I, I half wonder, because one of, one of the characters in The Father Christmas is a little bit Welsh. And yeah. I wonder if he's doing Seacombe. Yeah, he's sort of doing a variation okay, maybe. of how you Because you've also got the two-headed giant in this, yes. which is clearly based on Eccles. Mm-hmm. Eccles' voice from, from the Goon Show. Mm-hmm. Although I noticed on seeing the Bumblies that he's mm-hmm. doing a very similar voice yes. in that as yes. well for, bu- for Bumbly number three. That's one of his voices. Because yeah. the Bumblies are quite, I think they're quite scary. Well, I didn't think they were that scary. Well, they, they sort of live on the ceiling, don't mm. they? And I, I just sort of look up and think they're there. Because it's almost like the the silence from sort of pe- yeah, uh, Peter maybe. Moffat, Stephen Moffat's <laughs> Doctor Who, and you said, "Wonder if Moffat had ever seen the Bumblebees yeah, lurking on the ceiling." Him. I don't know, not, not a clue. Yeah. What do you think of the dragon then? He's it was quite sweet. sweet. Yeah. Because yeah. they put the dragon's fire out with some rain. <laughs> some rain. Then. I felt quite sorry for the dragon. And, the, it, and there's two um, prams with very young knights in yes. as well that are jousting, <laughs> and the, and the prams sort of come along. <laughs> With mm. the poles, and, and that's that's mm. very silly. What was the other one? Movie Monster, wasn't yes. it? Yes. That was, um, what was that, Dracula? Dracula, Frankenstein's, well, Dr Frankenstein. And, and Doc- Jekyll and Hyde. Jekyll and Hyde, Dr Jekyll and Mr Hyde. And mm. you said about um, sort of Dr Frankenstein, or Frank mm. N. And Stein. Stein, to give yeah. him his proper name. He'd made this monster. Mm. And I like the fact that he said, um, don't use mains electricity because it's, no, it's dangerous, I only use batteries. Yes. That was a good thing for yes, the kids. Yes, he, he was basically saying, "Don't stick things in plugs." And and you, <laughs> and you said he had a sort of doll's uh, yes, milk bottle. Yes, it was like a tiny it? Cheers bottle. I think the, the young girl, well, ladies that are watching this will remember. Ladies, but, um, if you had a tiny Cheers, you got a little bottle with it that had yeah. like a 
milking in it and when you did it it looked like it was disappearing it's yeah. just the way it was done so you could feed the baby and, <laughs> so. but yeah i mean the, the initial episodes are f- noticeably they're quite cheap aren't they because yeah. especially it starts off with michael just sat at his desk in a really blank mm-hmm. set yeah, yeah. And although, yes, you've got the puppets and you've got a little bit of set, because mm. the King Arthur one, you said when they're having the battle in the um, in the castle, you could see the wall going. Yeah. But that was actually intentional it was meant to because go, the yes. wall actually falls down. Falls down, yeah, but it was going a bit sort of yeah. earlier than it needed to, I guess. But yeah, we then jumped ahead to, what was it, series four, is it? I think so, yeah. Um, let's have a look. Because that's the one that's, yes, it's the Potty Safari Park. And the potty in the Iron Mask, mm. and um, yeah, these are produced and directed by Leon Thau, who goes mm-hmm. on to do the Tomorrow People and mm-hmm. Who Done It, yes, and you know other other things as well. But um, I did like the Potty Safari Park because it's Lord Shower, isn't mm. it? Who is clearly based on Lord, Lord Bath. Bath, yeah. Mm. Um, Interestingly, he's got a big sort of beard, hasn't he? Yes. So it's almost as though he's the not the Lord Bath of then, but the no. one after, yes. isn't it? The, the Lord Bath with, with the, the wifelets. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, but you've got like the um, you see the stately home, mm. um, shower hall, mm-hmm. and you see the 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 coaches arrive to go in the safari park. Mm. And this is the, one of the things I think that people remember about potty time is that it's the the invisible potties. Because mm. we've said about the big ones and the little ones, but you mm-hmm. also get, when you've got wide shots, especially when they're having battles and things mm-hmm. like that, it's all done by the sand. There's like a tray of sand. Mm-hmm. And the sand sort of bumps up and down as yeah. you, either the explosions go off mm. or the invisible potties run up, and down. up and down. Yeah. And so yeah. with this, the, the, like, the, the coaches draw up Mm-hmm. There's a load of sort of music and sort of voices, yeah. and all this sand goes up and down because mm-hmm. that's invisible potties. They go on the swings and the roundabouts, yeah. and then they, they vandalise the hall a bit, yeah. and then they all go back in the bus, and then the bus drives off again. Mm-hmm. But I, I did quite like the use of sort of, it's almost like it's matchbox sort of toys, isn't mm-hmm. it, to show all the cars going through the yeah. safari park. And I do wonder, if I look closely at it, whether I might recognise some of the toys that I've got in the shed. Yeah, Because we did a video a few months ago about mm-hmm. some of my toys. Matchbox yeah. and, and Corgi and Dinky toys. and mm-hmm. Some of them did look a little familiar. It, it's, mm. it, it's quite quite fun. Um, but, yeah, I really, really like the that one. Because, of course, <laughs> it's Longley, and we've sort of got memories of yeah. ourselves of going, going, going to Longley. Longley. Yes. Going on the safari bus and watching all the cars having bits stolen yeah. by the monkeys. <laughs> I liked the the fierce animals they had in yes. this as well. Yes. This was like what, a rabbit, a, rabbit, couple of rabbits, a and guinea pig and some ducks. Some, some baby little ducks. baby ducks or chickens. Was yeah. it ducks? Yeah. Yeah. Ducks, yeah. yeah. But yeah, because yeah, was it the po- to the potties? They're huge. They're, they're huge because yeah. the potties regard Michael Benteen as a giant, it's a giant don't, don't yes. they? Yeah. They've never seen anybody. Tell the giant yeah, all about. Yeah. They've never never seen anybody as big as him. Yeah. But then we jumped on to what was it, the, the potty in the iron mask. Yes. And, um it's I guess you know it more than me because you you'd watch the Musketeers show I, I from have, a few yes, years ago. Watched some of the Musketeers. Because yes. that's the one with Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi is Carnu Yeah. Never have I wanted the villain to win more. Oh right, you were on his side. Yeah. But what did you think of the potty sort of rendering of this? It's, I don't know the story that well, to be honest, of the Man in the Iron Mask. Because there is, there is a um, missing adventure, Hartnell, the Man mm. in the Velvet Mask. Yes. Isn't there? And I that's have that's, read that. That's what someone's got syphilis, though, isn't I, it? I really don't know. I, I, I yeah. can't remember. I, I have read it, but. So, um, is that a dodo one? Yes. Is that yes. Where, she get, they, that's where she gets. I'm not sure. Yeah. I'm not sure. Because there's, there's a new. But this is going completely off subject. But there is a new adventures, or sorry, a missing adventures where she gets syphilis. Yeah. Right? And then she, she gets killed. In... Or is that Who Killed Kennedy as well? I think. Well, she's got it in that, yeah. yes. I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, the, the the thing about this one is that so what, this is like the Musketeers, isn't yes, it? Yes, but it's when they're old. Yeah, yeah, because it's uh, the Queen of France. Not and the Rich Lou's in this like sort of bath little, chair yeah. thing that it, his assistant's pushing him mm. around in. Um, but yeah, the potty in the Iron Mask turns out to be what is it? The chef. The chef who got a pot stuck on his head. Uh, a metal pot stuck yeah. on his head. because so, I was watching it going, you, that doesn't actually work because there's no 
they're, no they're mouth breathing hat holes. Or breathing holes. So <laughs> how, does he, okay. how does he survive and eat? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. The, man, the thing of the ant money on a mask is it's actually got eye holes and yeah. a mouth hole. Yeah. So you can. But this, this is almost like it's from a Carry On film, yes. isn't it? Because you'd yeah. see like the Carry On in like the Doctor Carry On mm-hmm. films. The camera would occasionally track along the patients and their big kid with, like, a saucepan stuck mm. on his head or something like that. But so. only on this bit of it, yeah. not all the way down. Yeah. So. But I have to say, of what we've seen, mm. it's noticeable how much more money is chucked at it. Yes. By, this is yeah. much more elaborate by, yeah. by season four, isn't mm-hmm. it? The sets are bigger mm. and the, the whole dressing for it is, 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 is done. Because the, the puppets are operated by, what is it, the Barry Smith... Puppet. Theatre Puppeteers. of Puppets, and yeah. as we said in the blog, they also mm. work on Hickory House, yeah. giving life to the evil um, Humphrey Cushion, Humphrey Cushion mm. who petrified me as a kid. <laughs> um, but it's been pointed out that Barry Smith also worked on Planet of the Spiders oh, right. and Snake Dance as well. Oh, right, as a Punch and Judy man. Yeah, because yeah. he was. Yeah, if you look on the, there's a Punch and Judy website about mm. like. The professors of Punch and Judy, mm-hmm. and they they talk briefly. There's a little bit about Barry Smith on there, okay. so it, it it's and it is. I have to say, for you know, the Bumbleys is done on film, mm. and when you do it on film, you do a bit. So long as that bit's all right, you move on to the next bit. This is this is shot in studio, mm-hmm. and the the sort of technical expertise required to do it in a a multi-camera studio is really yeah. quite high because mm-hmm. um, there's a lot going on yes. and yeah. Yeah, you know the puppets have to do a lot mm-hmm. don't they? they have to yeah. move about a lot because yeah. they're operated by like rods up their arses aren't they yes yeah? and there's yeah. I, I guess because they, their hands sort of their hands go up and down don't they as mm. well and you said their hands got got bigger yeah because they? when they first in series one they've got quite small hands they, yeah and then by the time you get to uh, series four you see it with the professor, his hands yeah. are huge. Because series four, Michael Benteen's now got a proper set. Yes. He's got the potty encyclopedia where mm-hmm. they look stuff up under the sort of whichever letter it is. Mm-hmm. And yes, he's got the professor helping him as well. So, yeah, it's... It, 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 I'd say the educational content is sort of... It's minimal, mm-hmm. really. I don't think you necessarily but learn there. anything. It is there. But I think it is... It's it's to get kids into history yeah. and the stories of history, yeah. isn't it? I think I think it that's probably nice. would have encouraged me at the time. I mean, I yeah. I love learning new stuff. Yeah. I still love learning new stuff now. You know, if I watch something and I've learned something new, that's yeah great. You know, and but yeah, I just he, he struck Michael Winton strikes me as just um, a really nice guy. I yeah. think he'd be a nice somebody good to go down the pub with. Yeah. Not as manic as Spike. <laughs> not as as as. Well, I don't know what, how you'd describe Peter Sellers, because yeah. somebody described him as not having any personality at all. No idea. I think Blake Edwards describes that he didn't have any personality. He used to take on the traits of the character he was playing, oh, which oh, must have that, been Oh, you mean like Peter was always acting, yes. you think, maybe? Yes, he was always... Know. Well, he, he just didn't have any... It, it, it seemed that he didn't have any personality of his own, so he'd, mm. whatever character he was playing, mm. he'd be like that way, he was play, which okay. would be really annoying if he was playing Clouseau. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't it? Oh, you don't know who he's going to be from one day no. to the next. Oh, so, okay. which must have must have been really hard on his family. But, but I think Michael Benteen's delivery in Potty Time is is very. I don't know whether he's adopted a character here or not, no, but it seems no. very natural and it does. and sort of honest, mm. doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And as I've always said to you, um, as a kid, you're very good at noticing if somebody's putting on yes something. So mm-hmm. although he's he is a little eccentric, yes, yeah. he is. I think that's natural. I, th- I think that's the the real Michael Benteen yes. you're seeing there, yeah. and and I think you'd you'd sort of appreciate that as a kid mm-hmm. that you weren't being talked down yeah. to or anything like no. that. Because we've I've seen him in the Tell Me Another. Yeah. And he just comes across the same. Yeah. Really, yeah. when he's telling his stories on okay. that, because um, there's I, I can't tell it, but I mean if you ever see it, if you see an, an episode of Tell Me Another with him and just watch it, because yeah. it is very funny. About the stuff he got up to before he actually got <laughs> called up in the war. Um, yeah. Okay. Well, there you are. Well, thank you for that, Lisa. I, I said, I, um, you know, we we perhaps went a bit mad with buying all of these at once, mm-hmm. but it was a chance that was probably never going to come no. again. 
No. So it might take us ages to get through them, but I think there's enough material here to do a proper, yes, proper uh, around the archives mm -hmm. article at some point, not mm -hmm. in the immediate future, but sort no. of mid-term. Mm -hmm. I think it goes on the list of possible ones, because yes. um, there's, there's a the lot we can list. talk about. We just have to get on with like watching them, I think. Yes. That's always the problem, finding mm -hmm. the time, isn't it? But there you go, Michael yeah. Benteen's Potty Time, mm -hmm. four series, mm -hmm. I think well worth a... Well, worth a look. Yes. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.